let's get some questions from our, our audience. Who do we have questions from? Right here. Hi, Mr. Corgan. Uh, thank you so much for the great interview. I love the new album. I love your solo album. I love all the pumpkin stuff, and almost especially uh, your your post breakup output. Believe it or oh, not. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and um, so I, I'm kind of curious. This is a really simple question, and it might have a really simple answer. Um, and I'm curious. Yes. Why? <laughs> why now? Was was, uh, yes. The band is back together. Mm -hmm. um, it might be an obvious one, but is it is it emotional? Is it musical? Is it commercial? Why now? I feel like if that's your question, I didn't do my job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's like the most obvious no, it's, it's been a great interview. Thank you so much. No, I actually, I love. Uh, here's here's why I love the question, because, and it's it's. Any history of a family is intertwined with a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense unless you're in the family. But to oversimplify the family history of the Spouching Pumpkins, when we were in a room making music, we had incredible success, not just in the world, but with one another. I mean, we were able to take these ideas and turn them into songs that people still say. I mean, it's pretty amazing when you think about coming from nothing. And then all the other stuff, the personal stuff, was where it all kind of went wrong. So there's that haunting feeling, you know, almost kind of like the one who, the one that got away in a love relationship. You think like, well, gee, if we could just set aside this stuff and get back to doing what we do well, what would that be like? And so that's the cool thing about the record is it's an example of like, okay, that's that answers that question. That machine still works. And it was a little bit like, you know, it's like a Frankenstein thing where you kind of flick on the lights and the, you know, it's like, there it is, it works. Don't, and I, I couldn't tell you why, but um, I certainly, in using James as an example, when James and I work together and, and we start playing guitar, it's like we're right back in my dad's house in the bedroom in those formative years of figuring out that style. And it's like, it's like the, the lights go on. I don't know how to explain it. And I only have that with him. I've never had it with anybody else. And maybe it's because we came up together and ate terrible hot dogs together or something. You know what I mean? There's something about the bonding of the brotherhood that we had even before Darcy entered the picture and Jimmy entered the picture that no one can ever take away from us, including us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like even our own personal issues couldn't get in the way of the bond that we had. And so when we were back in that room and you got Rick Rubin sitting there with the Buddha beard in the other room in the window and you put the lights on, and it's like, is it there or it isn't there? And it's there it was. So it's quite beautiful. And that's, I think that answers the question better I also I think on my own. Formative years of music discovery together as well, like finding out what you liked and why you liked it at such a specific moment in time in your development mental phases like is incinerated on you and that probably is an yeah we would that we, we would literally away. i had one of those old council stereos that i found in an alley somewhere and it worked and we would listen to knights or ebb and then we would listen to the smiths and then we would listen to Susie and the banshees and then we would listen to the lemon pipers and then we would listen to the beatles and we'd sit there and talk about it like what are the lemon pipers is the lemon pipers they had a, a green tambourine green tambourine oh yeah yeah my green tambourine you know that song? No, I know, but I'm gonna it's go. It's kind of a it kind of a post Dylan. It's like, like kind of ripping off Tambourine Man. This guy's got a tambourine. It's oh, a famous like a, '60s song. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the Lemon Pipers. My green tam, my green tambourine. Okay. It's a okay. famous psychedelic song. Okay, I'm gonna go. We should go out with that. 